In today's video, I'm going to show you how to animate a slide menu in Figma super fast so let's begin. This is the interactive slide menu we are going to create together so let's start creating it here. As you can see I already designed this menu this is the expanded version I didn't create the collapse version we are going to create that together quickly but first we need to animate our icon ok we need to animate it place it right here and then we will animate our slide menu how can we animate that icon here as you can see i don't have to separate icons i only have this hamburger menu icon because we are going to create that dismiss i icon together first i'm gonna select this icon here this frame i'm going to duplicate it hit ctrl d or command d and what i'm going to do here is get rid of these two lines all right as you can see inside we have three lines we have one two three i'm gonna get rid of this last one and this one as well and here I'm gonna keep this second line. Now I'll rotate this at 45 degrees and then make a copy by pressing ctrl plus D. Then I'll right click and choose flip horizontal. Now you can see our dismiss icon is ready. But what do we need next? You see this icon has three layers, one, two, three. We need to change one of them because we'll use smart animation. So, I'll select one, rename it to number one, and the other to number two. Now, I'll select both, create a component set, name it closed and opened, and define their states. Then, I'll go to the Prototype tab, connect them together, choose on click Animation Type with Smart Animate, and set the velocity to Quick. I'll do the same for the Dismiss icon, connecting it back to the Close variant. Everything looks good. Now, I'll drag it here. Its color is white, which isn't visible so I'll change it to black. Then, I'll set it to absolute position, adjust its width to 30, and align it. Perfect! Now, I'll set its constraints and change from closed to opened. Next, I'll create a component and add another variant. I'll align it horizontally for the collapsed version. Then, I'll select the icon and change its state to closed. I'll delete the text because we only need icons for the collapsed version. I'll collapse it, set its width to 120, align its center, and center the closed icon. Now, I'll open the Prototype tab, connect the opened icon with the same properties, and do the same for the Dismiss icon. I won't change anything else. I'll close the Prototype tab and open the Design tab. I'll take a desktop frame and change its background color, which I've already set in the local styles. Then, I'll go to Assets, Drag and drop the design there. Now, I'll play it and see how it works. Alright, I'm going to click on this dismiss icon. There we go, it works just fine. How cool is that? Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons.